Hi, I'm Frida. I uh, wanted to eat my lunch with and hang out with you guys for a bit. I made cornbread muffins. They are uh, low fat, low fat map. Yes, low fat map. They don't have any uh, short chain carbohydrates. Mmm, I have some beef stew in here. Low fat mac beef stew. And I put a little rice in it. A little bit of leftover rice. Barely even a half cup of rice. That's many rice. Mmm. Mmm. So good. The beef stew has um, butternut squash, parsnips, um, celery, and what other vegetable did I put in there? Put four. A green bell pepper, yes. And then at the end, or not at the end, but I fried a jalapeno pepper and I tossed it into the pot too. So it's got a tiny bit of spice and then God, it's low five minutes and it's so good. All those years of eating vegetarian and never feeling full and it was because of I'm incense I mean <laughs> whoops I have an intolerance or a sensitivity for um, short chain carbohydrates when you eat vegetarian you tend to fill to try to fill up with grains and legumes and most of the common grains and legumes that we eat have short chain carbohydrates or high FODMAP. So now, I'm trying to eat an IBS friendly, low FODMAP uh, diet without short chain carbohydrates for now. Later on, I can try to find out which group of FODMAPs maps I'm it, I'm uh, I guess it could be considered an allergy but it's not it's considered a intolerance like lactose intolerance lactose is a short chain carbohydrate mm. So, so good. Mmm, the spices in here. I, I decided to try to live without onion and garlic for a while. That is a big step for me because I can not eat without onions and garlic. But now, I found a way to have a, a meal without onions or garlic. Well, actually not, uh, because you can infuse oil with uh, the flavor of onions and garlic and the short chain carbohydrates do not cross over if you cook it in oil. If you cook it in water, they cross over. That means a uh, vegetable broth or any kind of broth that has been used to cook onions or garlic or any other fruits or vegetables that are are high FODMAPs.
is contaminated for you. This is very delicious. I found a recipe for low FODMAP cornbread muffins. Gosh, so good. Mmm, very, very good. Potatoes also are low fat now. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Very, very good. I'm struggling with caffeine too. Um, coffee is a big one. I don't know how I'm going to give up coffee. I don't want decaf. I hate decaf. It's the caffeine I want. How can I get caffeine without drinking coffee <laughs> or tea? Mm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Gotta share. It's rice and beef stew together. Mm. Yum. Mm. Um, I have to go get the kids in a few minutes. But I wanted to, to hang out with you guys while I eat my lunch. I broke up my cornbread in there. Mm. So good. That's pumpkin cornbread. Doesn't have any uh, dairy in it or any high fried map. That means I did not put any white flour in it. It's all cornbread. I mean corn flour, brown corn. Mmm. Mm. 
when we become vegetarians or try to diet, any other diet will tell you that vegetables are a free item. You can eat as much as you want. And they don't tell you that some people have a sensitivity to certain carbohydrates just in some of the foods or vegetables or fruit. Everyone acts like, or many people act like um, vegetarian or vegan is superior and they are superior for being a vegetarian or a vegan. And he never tell you that there are people who can't. do that because of food sensitivities. They don't want to admit it. I I like the idea of being a vegetarian, but I don't like the idea of not being able to absorb the nutrients from the food I eat. And I don't like the idea of being hungry all the time and never feeling full because my body doesn't use it. It just passes on through. Mm -mm. This is delicious. And I'm not going to be hungry for hours after I eat this. And it's full of vegetables. It does have a little stew meat in it. But that's what is going to make me feel full. It's going to slow down my, I don't know, metabolism, whatever it is. I don't know. It's going to slow down my gut. Because, I'm sorry, I know I'm eating fast, but I have to go get the kids. Um, if I don't leave soon, the my parking spot will not be available. Mmm. -hmm. Very good. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mama Bear has spoken. I give, um, yesterday I made this beef stew and rice and uh, these muffins, same muffins. I just made a fresh batch. And my kids, some of them wanted the soup and rice, they wanted beef stew and rice. And some of them, two, one or two of them said, Mama, I don't like this beef stew. I said, okay, don't eat it then. You want a muffin? I said. Okay. And then they all love the muffins, so either way, Mama Bear wins. Mama Bear's the winner. Wicked always wins, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.